Hey, good evening. My name is Joseph. Uh, welcome to Unity with Heaven. And today I'm with Elisma and Gilliam and Kimberly. Uh, so it's a completely different team than we always have. But it's awesome to have uh, our team together here today. So uh, we're going to minister to people that put their names on the list. And I'm excited to see there's already a few names in the list. So I'll just sit here and put them all in the list. Uh, we'll probably minister today to 40 people. And then all the other names that's above and beyond 40, I'll just sit tomorrow and I'll minister to them. So then that will be fine. All right, so you can put as many names as you want on the list. I'll, I'll go through the list. Okay, so our prophetic protocol. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 3, it says there, when you prophesy, your word must edify, exhort, and comfort. All right. And then verse 29 of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 says there, the two or three prophesy, and then let that word be judged. And so that's why it's important, once you receive a word, write it out, pray about it, get instructions from God, be obedient to Him. Remember, you are a co-laborer with the Lord. So if you just get a prophetic word and just leave it, doesn't really do anything. you got to work with God and be obedient to the instructions that He gives to you so you can see God work in your life. So think about Moses. You're standing in front of the Red Sea and God says, stretch out your staff and then God opened up the Red Sea. Imagine Moses say, wow, it's such a nice prophetic word, but he didn't do anything about it. <laughs> the Red Sea would never have opened up. Yeah, anyway. Okay, guys, <laughs> uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start the minister. Um, I'll start with Brenda uh, Bastanzi. All right, uh, so Brenda, uh, uh, I just see how the Lord is shining a light in front of you, not on top of you, but in front of you, and the Lord is leading you, and He's showing you the way which you should go. And, and I felt that light is the revelation. So if you pray, you really just see one direction, one answer, one way to go. All the other areas is dark. And so now you're thinking, is this the right decision? Should I do this? And I just felt that the Lord says, I'm with you. I'm leading you. I'm guiding you. And I'm shining the light in the direction you have to go. So you don't have to fear. Yes. Um, uh, people try to make it very impossible to fulfill God's plan but God actually makes it quite easy he gives us the Holy Spirit and he makes it possible for us to follow his plan and he's going to help you God bless you Brenda I mean next one is for Dawn Dawn I see how you are in this basket and it made me think of, of Moses when um, he was on the, on the, uh, in the river when his mom put him on the river and he went and this baby was probably just happy he didn't know what happens, happened to it and it was you know and it just went and it found another mommy but actually his own mommy to look after him and i really feel that god says you need to just be you need to just be content you need to be in a happy place you need to be in a place where you know that he will look after you and where you know he will provide for you he will be that basket that protects you from the water from the waves from the storm from the weather because that is who God is so you need to know who God is and you, you need I feel that you need to really like more go into the scriptures of protection and a covering of God the Father bless you Davis, hi. My words for you. The word that I that I got was I saw uh, you were trying to like. It looks like you're trying to start a fire, and you're trying to like um, sharpen a stick or trying to like carve on a stick. And it's just like you just see wooden shavings, you know, like pieces of the wood, some of the bark, coming off all the time, all the time. And it's it it feels like it's not really doing anything. And um, what I what I see is I just see how after a while there's this pile of wood shavings, and um, that's almost like the kindling and the thing that starts the fire. And the thing that I feel like God's saying is, don't despise the day of small beginnings. And in a season where you might feel like it's a lot of just doing the same thing over and over and over, and it's not leading to anything. You feel like it's just a bunch of little things that keep breaking off. Like, okay, fine, I'm more patient now, but I'm not getting anywhere. I feel like God just wants to encourage you that he's developing you. And all those little things are going to add up. And it's going to be a way for, you, uh, for God just to grow you in the season. Be blessed. Evan Davis, please leave us a comment. And I, I listened to the, the sound and it is breaking up a little bit. But just so everybody know that we are recording, so don't stress. You can go back and listen to the word later. This next word is for um, Layla. Layla, the Lord shows me how, the, how he is nudging you into something new, something that is a mystery to you. But the Lord shows me how this is just 
just something this is just the next step in your growth and in your leadership position and I hear the Lord saying that this this new position that I'm placing you in it is it is it's like coming when you go to a new business like what are what is the benefits do I get this do I get this are you covered like insurance and all that stuff and and the Lord shows me at this new position that you are going to be truly covered not only by him but by by other things as well and there's just the, this 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 dome of protection surrounding you so don't fear be blessed hey awesome thank you very much Layla God bless you all right so family I want to encourage you if you have a prayer request just write it in the comments. And then if you see someone write a prayer request, just pray for the person. Let's pray for one another. Let's love each other. And also, if you feel something that God is saying to you, when you pray for the person, just write in a note. I prayed for you and this is the encouragement I feel God is giving to you. So I remember uh, uh, we were ministering at a church uh, and there was a young lady that came up and I prophesied to her about a manager position that God is giving to her. And then the next morning session she missed. And then the afternoon session when she came Saturday afternoon, she said that morning she got a new manager position. And so as of God just answered that, that word like the following morning. So it was, that was quite interesting. And so now, Tonya, when I see you, I see that same word that the Lord gave me that day. And, and, I, and I actually saw a desk with your little a manager, Tonya. And I felt that the Lord is going to promote you and give you a, a position of leadership because you've been faithful to Him. God bless you, Tonya. I mean, next one is for Martin. Martin, I see um, there's a gate. The gate is broken and it's hanging. So um, all your, your livestock, all your animals are coming out of this camp and you are losing um, uh, what is precious to you. So there's someone that is, uh, I don't know... Uh, it sounds harsh, but I, I, this, it feels to me like there's someone stealing from you or there's someone um, backstabbing you or there's someone telling lies about you um, and, and, and it's going to, um, yeah, so we need to break that in Jesus' name. We speak life over you. We break any negative words spoken over you and we, we just declare that over your life so that your gate can be fixed, so that all your treasures can be inside and, and, and just put God around your heart, guard your heart. And everything will go well with you. Be blessed. Uh, my word is for Jock. And Jock, the word of the thing that I got, I got kind of a weird picture, but we're going to pray for you. And yeah, this is, this is just what I got. So what I got is I saw this picture of like a wedding ring and how it was like being heated up in this fire. And it was just like this hammer that was hitting it over and over and over and over and over again. And it was almost like... It's like you're watching this happening and then you're like, don't like, don't break it. Like whatever you're doing now, just leave the ring alone. It'll be fine. And I just see how like God takes it off of the furnace. He takes it off the thing with these big metal plier things and he puts it in water and then it just like, you know, cools down and then it just becomes stronger than it was before. And I feel like God's saying, don't like, <laughs> I, I, I just feel like God's saying he's protecting your marriage. And I don't know if you're married or not. If you're not, then don't worry. But either <laughs> way, it's going to be really awkward if you're not. But whatever. Bottom line, I just feel like God's like, yeah, just God wants to just encourage you in this season to trust Him. Be blessed. Hey, Jock, please give us a comment. This next word is for Barnabas. The Lord shows me how you mustn't back down. How do not let the enemy make you think that you can't do it. Know that your strength is in the Lord. Do not back down for one second. Fight for what the Lord for what the Lord wants to do for you and in your life. The, don't let this wall that you feel like you're hitting the whole time. Don't let you don't let it get in the way. The Lord shows me that when you connect to him and when you fight the battle with him that you just somehow go over that wall. That it that is not even a part of the problem anymore because the 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 Lord is is not is not he Sometimes we don't need to break it through. The Lord's saying that I'm just going to take you over it and we're just going to pass it. But keep fighting. Don't, don't hold back. The Lord wants you to, to, to start interceding. Be blessed. Okay, Barnabas, uh, God bless you. Uh, so, um, family, uh, I want to thank each one that writes in the comments, uh, the, the comments. So I want to encourage you, when you receive a word, just write a feedback. Say what God is doing in your life. Just encourage each one of us. It's good for us to, to build each other up. And so I want to encourage you to do that. Okay. So, Ilion, the Lord shows me a bird nest that's on a tree and it hangs over the water. and But it's also hidden. So it's like other plants and things around it. 
and I felt that the Lord says he gives you a place where you can stay where there's lots of provision and peace and the presence of God but it's also a protected place and so I felt that the Lord is going to give you a breakthrough in that area of where you live and then the fire inside of you to do, do evangelistic work and bring people in the kingdom of God and I see how the Lord stoked that fire up so it burns with big flames God bless you and the next word is for Carolina. Um, I feel that God says He wants to give you rest, and 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 I see this beautiful bed where where you just you know where you need to go to Him, where you can just rest in Him. Rest in Him means to fully trust Him, to to know that He will take care of everything. Just give all those burdens to Him, and 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 just all your worries go to Him, and and He will you know it's almost like He will put it in a like this almost like this power thing that he will do because there's so much power in the word of God just speak his scripture over your circumstances and pray because the word says we need to give our request to the Lord give a request to the Lord but in this position just stay in the rest of the loving father be blessed Latifa my word is for you and the thing that I feel is uh, I saw this coding screen with all these little like lines of code and uh, I don't know if you've ever done coding before but if you do coding uh, I don't but if you do coding um, it's very important where you put the little punctuation marks, where you put the little commas. If anything's out of place, the whole thing doesn't work, and it's not very helpful at telling you where the mistake is. And sometimes there's this frustration of doing something over and over and over again, and it feels like it's this tiny thing that's out of place. I just feel like God's going to show you. He's going to give you guidance, but He's also going to put people in your life to specifically give you guidance when it comes to, hey, make sure you watch this. Make sure you look out for that. So I just pray God's blessing over you, just as wisdom in this next season as you're figuring out those those small changes and tweaks that need to happen. Be blessed. Amen. Uh, let's see if I please leave us a comment. This next word is for Leila, or, uh, Lydia. Sorry. The Lord shows me how He is coming and He is just holding your mind and He's holding your head. And I feel like He is He is talking to that storm. And and I feel the Lord is saying that those those panic attacks, those those times that you feel that it that it's hard to to be inside your mind the Lord shows me I was just holding you and he is just blowing on you and he is blowing those storms away and the Lord shows me how he is going to bring you peace that there was the storm the Lord shows me how you how the storm is in your mind and how as he blows it away you just it just it's just it's just quiet again and then you hear his voice clearly. Those waves, they are trying to distract you and trying to fill your mind. Step into the presence of God and believe for your healing. Have faith for your healing. Be blessed. Hello, okay. uh, Lydia, uh, God bless you. Uh, Lydia, uh, the Lord is going to supply all your needs. Do not, do not let fear come into your heart. Mm -hmm. All right. So the next word is for Thailan Peters. All right. So Thailan. Uh, I haven't seen you before on our stream, so welcome. It's awesome to have you here tonight, and it's every single person is welcome. But uh, Thailand, it's just nice to see you tonight. Um, so Thailand, uh, I saw a room where all the windows is closed, and it was a little stuffy. And then the Lord comes and He opens up all the windows, and there's a wind that, that blows through. And I felt that the Lord says He's doing a new work of the Holy Spirit. The old things that you've learned from the past is great but the Lord says that was only the foundation he's pouring out new fire he's pouring out new passion new revelation new understanding into your life and he's renewing your first love with Jesus and he's putting his presence and his power into your life and I just see a renewal in your life how everything in your life is made new the Lord loves you very much Dalian God bless you I mean, next to for Willem. Willem, I see that you are in this jet and you are going fast and you, you're actually flying this jet and there's so much joy and there's so much much peace in inside of you and on your you know you can actually see um, how your face face just lights up and I feel that that it, uh, there's uh, God is going to move you. I don't know if you're going to move to a different area or if, if you're just going to travel, but you're definitely going to move around. You're definitely going to you know go to different areas and and I really feel that that God wants to use you in this. He's going to use you. It is uh, uh, it's, it's it is for business. It is for for equipping you. But through this, God is going to send people over your path so that you can minister to them. So just know that, that God is going to work through you. It doesn't matter where you will be, but He wants you to move around. Be blessed. 
So, um, my word is for Tanya, and uh, the, the picture that I saw was um, polyester roof, or this this, this mm. foam roof kind of thing, and um, how how you were like installing these panels, and um, but they weren't quite fitting right. Like it's almost like you were trying to shift them around. It's kind of this frustration of okay, they're not fitting, and I just see how God's giving you tools. And it's almost like this, this spray foam in a can kind of thing you get it in the U.S. where you spray something and then it just like, it, it immediately like expands. And I just see how God is giving you tools and he's giving you things that uh, to fill in the gaps. And sometimes with your work stuff, it might feel like there's so much that needs to happen. And I just, I, I feel like I'm being stretched too thin and I feel like God's saying he's giving you tools and um, I feel like God's even right now, I just pray that God will remind you of what those tools are, what those specific things are that he's going to use it. It's going to feel like, I don't know if this tool is going to be enough, but it's almost like it's going to expand in your hand and it's going to grow in a way that, um, that you wouldn't have necessarily have thought would be possible. So just pray God's blessing over you. Be blessed. Amen. This next word is for Johnson. Johnson, the Lord shows me how how your hands are, how you feel like your hands are tied together, and how you can't um, you can't lift up your hands. And I feel like the Lord is giving you breakthrough through worship, through prayer, through 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 lifting up His name. The Lord says that that the only thing that is holding like your hands, I see like you're holding your hands like this, and you feel like you just can't lift up your hands, and you just can't release this and the Lord says let go and 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 come to me like just come to me and how you let it go and how you just start to worship the Lord the Lord shows me how how everything just comes you just feel this warmth around you the father is surrounding you when you open your arms to receive him because he is right there but when you, you he wants you to do the first step because he paid the first step by by dying for us but now he wants you to take the next step and embrace him be blessed hey awesome thank you johnson uh god bless you i hope this sounds a little bit better uh Jan said you will come Tomorrow, Wednesday, and you'll reinstall OBS on my computer, and hopefully that will solve all the all the bugs because we've tried now everything. We got a very fast internet line. It's like uh, at least uh, 50 megs up and down, so it, it should be able to to handle this. So we don't understand why, uh, because on other stuff that we do, it's smooth. So, uh, but we're gonna figure it out. Okay, uh, so uh, I'll I'm recording this and I'll post it tomorrow. Um, um, I'll, I'll post the, the re-edited video with good sound tomorrow. Okay, so the next one is for Teru. Okay, so Teru, uh, I see how the Lord gives you many chances. All right, uh, and I see how you finished a cycle and now the Lord gives you a, a brand new start, a fresh chance again. And it's almost as if you start at zero uh, on this next chance again. Uh, but you've got all the experience and the resources that you learned from the previous chances and the Lord just gives you an, another chance and and I saw actually someone playing golf and you know with golf you play a hole and then you start on the next um, what do you call that place where you start when you <laughs> tee the next tee uh, yeah the next tee yeah. so, so I see you on the next tee and you're ready to, to eat again so I, I just felt that the Lord is giving you a second chance so you don't have to worry about the mistakes of the past God forgives you and you gain the experience so you're going to do well in the future God bless you I mean, next word is for Frankie. Frankie, I see how, the, I don't know if you've seen this picture, um, that this guy is digging in the ground and then he stops just before he hits the diamonds and then he, you know, he stops. And and I feel that God says your breakthrough is, 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 is it's around the corner, that you need to not give up. And I see how um, God just stands behind you and he pushes you and, and he, and he lifts up your arms and he says go on my son I am with you I'm going to strengthen you and you need to just go on go on do not give up now because the breakthrough is very very close so um, just be encouraged by the Lord get scriptures encourage yourself and, and and worship worship in and go into the place of his presence where you are just being strengthened by his word and by his worship your worship to him, they'd be pleased. <laughs> Ingrid, uh, my words for you. I'm getting all sorts of weird words tonight. I apologize in advance. The, the, the picture of the thing that I saw was a tripod. But something interesting about tripods, right, is the reason why they have three legs is so that they don't wobble. Tripods, anything with three points of contact like that, don't wobble. And I think sometimes uh, I see this uh, 
like the stand or you're trying to stand and um, but it's almost like you're trying to stand on your own but if you just have like one little pole it's gonna fall over or when weather comes it's gonna be knocked over but if you have something with three legs something that's uh, that's more stable I feel like God's put you in community and he's put people around you and I feel like God just wants to remind you don't isolate yourself in the season and sometimes it feels like it's just gonna be so much easier to just stand on my own just to isolate I don't need to speak to anyone else just me and Big G but I feel like God just wants to remind you that he's put you in community for a reason and to not isolate yourself in the season be blessed Amen. I just want to say it's so nice to read all the comments. How everybody is greeting each other. It's so it's like a little community, and it's so it's so it's so wonderful. Okay, this next word is for Petronella. Petronella, the, the Lord shows me how He is going to give you new revelation and a new word, something something new. Because I I see how like this dust comes out of your mouth, and and the Lord shows me I'm going to give you new new things to to speak about new encounters and new testimonies and and i hear the lord saying that i'm calling you deeper that i am not done encountering you i am not done meeting you in in, in amazing divine moments because the, the lord wants to have those moments with you every single day that it doesn't that it's not just a moment but he, that that's that indwelling of the Holy Spirit is just always, always present in you. And wherever you go, you know that you can feel His presence. Because sometimes we could go in a place where we could say something and we just feel this little... And, and my ballet teacher says it like, she tells the little kids like, you felt the dove just, just go away. And the kids are like, oh, I don't want my dove to go away. But I hear the Lord saying that He is taking you into a place that you will always feel His presence. Be blessed. Okay, awesome. Uh, Peter and Allah, I really believe the Holy Spirit is going to stay with yes. you. You don't have to fear. I, so, so family, um, I want to encourage you, if you would like to receive word, uh, we're going to minister tonight to 40 people, but all the names that's extra above and beyond, I'm going to um, uh, tomorrow sit uh, probably with Ian, and then we will minister uh, to the rest of you. So don't worry, you just put your name in the comments if you would like to receive ministry. Um, so I think the the 40 names is already scheduled. So all the names from this point in forward <laughs> that you put up, that names me and Ian will minister tomorrow to them. But um, uh, you can still put your name on. So that's I just wanted to say that. Okay. So uh, and also thank you for all the wonderful comments. That's wonderful that you guys like can we see, uh, speak to one another. So the next one is for Janard. Okay. Uh, so what I see, I see the. A wing of an airplane and the airfoil. Okay, now Janet, I don't know if you know how the air works, but it accelerates at the bottom of the wing and then it pushes up. I felt that the wind of the Holy Spirit is going to accelerate in your life. You're going to feel more of the presence of God. You're going to hear God's voice more. You're going to be obedient more. It's going to be a stronger flow in your life. And that's going to cause you to be lifted up so that He can use you. And the Lord wants us to be high and shine our lights. That's that's what He said. He said, don't put the light on a bucket. You put it high so it can shine. Now see how you are lifted high and you shine with the light of Jesus. God bless you, Janard. Amen. Next word is for Jeanette. Um, Peter about God. Jeanette, okay, thank you, Lord. You can, you can, do, you can do Peter and then I'll do Jeanette. Okay. I've never, okay, next word is for Peter. Birgi. Okay, Peter, I see that there's a, there's a, um, that God comes and he, it's almost like he gives you brain surgery and he replaces your mind with, with the mind of Christ. And he says that you need to focus um, on, on, on the good things and you need, you need to focus on, on what he says, you need to focus on his words that he's spoken over your life. Because I feel there's chaos in your mind and you don't know, there's decisions that you need to make but you don't know who to listen to and you don't know if you're going to make the right decision but God says be still and know that I'm God and I'm going to lead you to the right decision but replace replace take your head take off the chaos mind and replace it with the mind of christ so that you can focus on heavenly things and so that you can be focused on what god wants to do for your life be blessed jeanette my word is for you funny enough i i also like mixed it up so it worked nice. it worked out nice it worked out nice um so <laughs> yay so the word the word of the thing that i got is i, I saw this picture of a key fob a key fob is a little plastic thing sometimes car keys uh new cars don't actually have like keys you just have this little tag thing that if you have it with you it unlocks the door and i feel like 
you're standing in front of a door or a vehicle or something and there's almost this nervousness of I don't have a key how am I gonna get in and I feel like God's given you this 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 thing and it's almost like this backpack but it's filled with little key fobs and little things and um, where a lot of times we get to these new challenges and we feel like God, I have no clue it's, it's almost this fear paralysis. I don't even want to try. I don't even want to reach out and touch the door handle because it's gonna. I'm going to be disappointed. And I feel like God just wants to remind you of his promises. He wants to remind you of the things that he's spoken over you for years now. And um, yeah, I want to encourage you. Go back to those words. Go back to those things that God said about you, said to you, and step out in faith. Go try and open some door handles. Don't steal cars, but I mean, go open door handles. Be blessed. And then this next word is for Anami. The Lord shows me how how you need to start walking in authority, in the authority that He has given to you. The Lord shows me how how when you walk that, that, that when you when you when you walk in authority, things start to shift. Not only in your life, but people you are praying for, and people that just just surround you. That 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 things in their lives just start to shift. Because you know that you are not just any person, but you are somebody that, that should not be messed with. I hear the Lord saying that your word, when you, when you have faith and when you connect to me, that your word has power. And he has given you that power to speak to, to your situation, to anybody's situation. But the Lord wants you to open your mouth and speak. Be blessed. All right. Uh, honor me. Uh, God bless you. As a family, I want to encourage you, if you have a prayer request, just put it in the comments. If you would like to receive a word that me and Jan minister to you tomorrow, <laughs> put your name in the comments because our list uh, of 40 is already uh, full, but uh, we will, me, Jan already talked with me. He will sit with me tomorrow and we will minister to all the extra names. Okay, so the next person I want to minister to is Brian Johnson. So Brian, the Lord shows me a world map and then I saw on the world map where you are and then all these... Um, sales arrows goes in many directions and I felt that the, the product and the service that, that you sell is going to go all over the place it's going to expand it's going to increase and it's not going to just stay locally where you are and I, and I, and I felt that's going to be not only uh, the, the business but it's also going to uh, be ministry related because I see two colors arrows go, go in all these directions and I just felt that the Lord wants to expand you and expand your vision and your mind also to say, but it is possible for you to grow. God bless you. Amen. Next word is for Sidani. Um, I feel that, that, that God has given you a gift of um, exhorter to encourage people. And sometimes you feel you doubt yourself. Sometimes you, you doubt that about this gift and then you step back and then you don't speak to people and you don't encourage them because you don't feel that that, that is your place. But keep on doing that. You are really making a difference and keep on speaking life into other people's lives. And then sometimes you are going to feel down and then you're like, oh, but I, I encourage other people. Why am I feeling like this? Then you just make fool by the Lord. You go to the Lord and you, you pray and you cry because that's what we do we cry at the Lord's feet right and we just let everything we give everything for him so that we can be filled again with his word so that we can fold again with his presence so that we can be filled again with his Holy Spirit so I really pray for a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit over your life for a fresh outpouring so that you can speak the words that God has placed into your heart so that you can encourage people people because the world is depressed the world is down the, press, the world is is really being pushed by the enemy but you uh, are one of those people that will really encourage people and that will help by what God has placed into your your heart be blessed. Also, my word is for Pacho. Pacho, my, the, 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 the word of the thing that I got was, I saw you with like a stuffy nose, like like almost like a head cold kind of thing. And there's this wave of uh, like this ocean wave that's coming to you. It's just, and it hits you like square in the face. It's almost like, it, I, like just like I'm laughing, like people are laughing and you're kind of like, what the heck just happened? My eyes are like burning and I this wasn't fun and it's like this another wave. But as the wave starts hitting you, it's it's like the salt water starts uh, opening your sinuses. And I feel like God's saying it, it might feel like you're in this season and it feels like it's almost this embarrassing season of onslaught after onslaught. And it feels like I'm not really getting hurt. This is just embarrassing. And I feel like <laughs> God is saying just keep standing. Because as you're standing against these waves, and these waves aren't fair, it's not fun. 
but I see that as you're standing, God's using those waves and using those things. He's not causing it, but he's using it to clear up other issues and things that you feel like this thing's been around me and been like just been issues for, for years. So be blessed. Amen, Pastor. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Manuel. The Lord shows me this fire that is surrounding you, and the Lord shows me how how this is His fire, and He is just coming, and He's just and He's just cleansing you. And sometimes being in the fire is hard because I see how these things are just going to start coming up. Old memories are going to come up, and I just see how how you need to just confess those things and get them out of you literally out of you and into that all-consuming fire and then the Lord shows me how and then the, the the new stuff that will start to come out out of you is the song of worship and of thanksgiving to the Lord because he has re renewed you and and he is making you new and I and I see this this fire process it's gonna take a while it's not going to take um, like one Sunday or even like a one um, time spending in with the Lord it's, it's gonna be a process but the Lord shows me that his all-consuming fire is, is, is coming and is surrounding you and 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 something amazing is going to be released out of you be blessed hey, uh, Manuel I just felt that the Lord says that you're gonna have continuous progress um, uh, both in finances and also in ministry and I felt that the Lord says uh, don't go into a system uh, go into the power of the Holy Spirit and the Lord will give you a breakthrough all right God bless you Manuel Okay, so Mel, uh, Mel, uh, I really felt breakthrough coming over you and I saw you standing uh, in the field and a massive rainstorm came down and it just brought abundance in your life but I also saw you had a... What's it? Umbrella. umbrella, sorry, umbrella, no, <laughs> that you hold and so you protected by God but the Lord is bringing a lot of increase and busyness and a lot of responsibilities uh, into your life uh, but I see how you get into gear and you are made for this your talents your gifts go into gear and you fulfill a lot of what God wants you to do and so I feel the environment is changing and it's now a time of breakthrough in your life God bless you I mean next word is for Renee Renee I feel that uh, there's, there's a birth, a new birthing in your life, but it, 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 it's you. It's, it's almost like you are going through the womb. You are in the womb again, and that you are birthed again, but you are a different person. I see as you as you come out of the birth canal, you you burst out, and it, there's so much color. There's like a burst of creativity, and, and so that's what God wants to give to you. He wants to give you a burst of creativity, and I see there's so much joy, and I see you dancing. So there's going to be colors. There's going to be dancing. There's going to be creativity. So I don't know what God wants to do with that, but you are definitely going into a new season. You're definitely going to, into a new Renee. So just be be willing to change for the Lord because God has amazing, amazing change that He wants to bring over your life. Be blessed. Awesome. Uh, my word is for Vicky. Uh, Vicky, the, the word of the thing that I saw is, there used to be this old saying, a Xerox of a Xerox or a photocopy of a photocopy. Uh, now, I don't know which generation group you fall into, uh, but if, if, if you're Gen Z, then that would be a screenshot of a screenshot. Uh, <laughs> but but the, thing, the, thing, the thing that I feel like is, um, I feel like there are certain things that you're holding on to, and it's these pictures. It's almost like pictures of loved ones, but it's like a screenshot of a screenshot of a screenshot. And it's almost like I just have this random picture of this random person. I don't know who this is. And that if you could trade that picture for a relationship with the actual person it would be like so much better than just that picture and the thing that I feel like God is saying is he doesn't want to give you a new picture he wants to remove the screenshot of the screenshot and he wants you to actually be in a stronger relationship with him now that doesn't make and sometimes it feels like oh my goodness all these pictures all these things that I have are being taken away but actually what it is is it's just a, it's it's relationship. I feel like God is going to intentionally remove certain pictures and remove certain things that you might have felt like my entire life. This is how I viewed God, but it's it's not to destroy that image, but it's it's to, to for for destroying its sake, but to actually step into a deeper level of relationship with Him. So yeah, be blessed. Amen, Vicky. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Joe. Joe, the Lord shows me how. 
the Lord shows me like this new smell that that you are smelling, and and I and I see how the Lord is like saying that this this is this is a new aroma that I want you to start. That is your aroma that you are lifting to the Lord. And I see how how when you pray, when you spend time with with God, that you just start to to um, that aroma just starts to come off of you. And and the Lord shows me how. How sometimes you feel that that you're in like this little box and and what you're doing isn't getting out but the Lord shows me how this aroma is traveling really far to to people that you've been praying for that that aroma is 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 when they spend time with you it is going to their homes and they are just and I see how how you have imprinted the Lord's name onto onto into other people's minds and they must think well well what is this name what is this name? What is this name? And and I see how that name is circling. Jesus' name is circling in their minds, and there will be breakthrough there. Be blessed. The Joe, Joe, the Lord is uh, healing you, and the Lord is bringing supernatural provision to you and your family. Uh, and your past will not dictate your future. Uh, and I, and the Lord is wanting you to live out of joy and having fun. Um, so God bless you, Joe. Okay, so uh, family, thank you for all the wonderful comments. Um, so uh, as you sit there and you listen to all these words, you know, you can actually receive every one of those words if you choose to do so. Because it's God speaking and we receive by Him through faith and He's not a, a respecter of persons. So if the word was for Elisma and I felt, Lord, that's for me also, I can say to the Lord, Lord, I receive that by faith and He will give it to us. Okay? So you can do that. Um, so uh, I want to minister to Frida. So Frida, I saw how you get very hot. It's like your physical body get hot, hot, hot. And I saw how the Lord has come and He lays hands on you and He cools you down. And I also saw in all the joints how it's almost as if the joints needed a little bit of oil. They were a little bit stiff. And I see how the Lord has put that oil of, of healing on your physical body and how the Lord has helped you to become mobile so that you can move fast and you can be cool, you can think clearly and you can do the right thing that you're supposed to do. And I felt that the Lord is just touching you today, both in your physical body and also in your spirit. And He's just giving you an impartation of His anointing, and of His healing in your body. And the Lord loves you very, very much, Frida. God bless you. I mean, next word is for Tibo. Tibo, I feel um, Matthew 11, 28, come to me all you, you who are labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. So I see you sitting in this boat and you are rowing but you have no rowing um, spawn. Uh, or. Or. You have no rowing or. or and you, you are trying to row but there's nothing in your hand and you are exhausted. You're sweating but you're getting nowhere. And God says that you need to give it to Him. Come, you are all, you know, who are very like heavy burdened and just come rest in him and and i see how the lord just comes and he rose for you and that you've got so much relief in that and that, uh, just so much weight off your back and you're actually moving forward so give that to, to the lord be yoked with him be yoked with him because he is the stronger one through him everything happens because nothing is impossible for the lord father so give it to him and be yoked with him so that you can move forward and so that you do not get tired and so that you you just can draw from God's strength in order for you to move forward. Be blessed. Awesome. Luis, the word that I got for you is I saw this picture of this kid with like a giant like piece of paper that they're trying to fold into like a paper airplane. Um, but no matter how many times they try and fold it, it's not like flying <laughs> far. And uh, I, f I, f I feel like this picture then of like the parent coming in and giving them a smaller piece of paper, like just like this big. And the kid goes, no, I don't want this one. I want the big one. I want the big one. But the parents keep explaining, like, if you can fold the small one, you can fold the big one. And I feel like what's happening is there are certain areas where God's entrusting things to you. And it feels like I'm just failing left and right. And I feel like there, there might be a scaling down a little bit every now and then. And... I feel like God just wants you to know, like, this isn't a punishment. This is a form of, if I can trust you with the small things, I can trust you with the big things. And it's not, the heart of the Father is not to take things away from you, but it's to equip you so that you can fly successfully, so to speak. But yeah, be blessed, and yeah, we're just trusting God with you in the season. Amen, Louise. Please, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Christine. The Lord shows me 
how I don't know if you've been having like heartburn, but I feel like your heart is just is is being is feeling very 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 heavy and and sometimes like if it's in the mind sometimes you would see like the body will actually just get sick and the lord shows me how he is coming and he and he just wants to hold your heart and and sometimes there's things that that are that are lay, that is laying on our hearts that just feel so so heavy and and, and, and we feel like we can't release because sometimes we are the person that everybody comes to. They need advice and they come and they just and they just need to release it. And I hear the Lord saying that when you when you are there for somebody receiving what they, what they need you to receive because sometimes they need to release it. The Lord says, daughter, I don't want you to carry those things yourself. I want you to also release those things to me. And, and not like you're carrying other people's burdens, but you're but you're hearing about them, and and you are being sim you are you are sympathizing with them. And I hear the Lord saying, "Release those things to me. Release those things to me. I want I want to hold your heart. I want to keep your heart pure. Be blessed." Hey, Christine, uh, God uh, loves you very very much. Uh, so family, um, I already have a list of names. So tomorrow, me and Ian are gonna sit together, and we're gonna minister to every single name that's that comes on the list that uh, we didn't get a chance tonight to minister to. So if you would like to receive ministry, just write your name in the comments and we will minister to you. Also, uh, Christina de Toy, uh, the Lord shows me how you sit with an architect uh, and it's a very wise architect and how he sits and he helps you to draw a plan for your new house. And, and I just felt that the Lord says that he's going to give you a wise, look maybe a little bit older mentor to sit with you and just to plan the next five years or so of your life or even ten years and, and it's like an architect to, that draw that lines so it's not only practical but it's also beautiful and I felt that the Lord is helping you to, to make an awesome plan for the next season in your life God bless you Amy, next one is for Carolyn um, I see how you're looking in this building and this building is really looking old and broken down and there's this door and you look at this door and it looks dark and, and you don't want to enter through that door and, 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 and you're just standing there and you're confused. But God says you need to enter through that door because I see at the other side of this door it's like this beautiful garden and it's, it's flowers and it's birds and it's life. So you need to not fear. You need to, in faith, move forward. Even though it doesn't look good from this side. But you need to take that handle because you already have the key. God has given you that key already. You need to take that handle. You need to unlock it. And you need to open into that place. So that you can receive the blessings that God has for you. Because God's blessings for you is to prosper you. To give you good health. And to really lift you up in this season. So move up. And, and it's almost like you need to just shake it off. Shake it off. Shake the past off, shake the words off, shake it off and, and, and you know, lift up your head and move through this door because God has good things for you, good blessings and, and really um, life life, I speak life over you, be blessed my apologies in advance uh, for pronouncing, pronouncing your name Yoko, Yoko. Like the, like the, the, yes, the scared thing. Oh, it's cool. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yoko, okay, cool. The word of the thing that I got for you is I saw almost like it felt like this court case sort of thing and um you you were having to like defend yourself uh and and there was almost this temptation of i need to like get political i need to like pull out all the stops like fancy words here we go and i feel like god's just saying keep it simple don't exaggerate like stay on point and um and don't say too much and it and in the same way that a lawyer or someone will help, mm. um, not not because they want to like hurt the client's chances, but because they genuinely are defending the client, yes. and they don't want the client to fall into the traps of their enemy or their accuser. In the same way, I feel like God doesn't want you to fall into the accuser's trap. Yes. And I feel like sometimes the accuser comes with all sorts of strategies and we feel like you know what i'm gonna outsmart him i'm gonna pull this karate move here i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and i feel like god's just saying just stick to the facts just keep it simple <laughs> do what i told you like yes. don't respond in hate right now and it feels so counterintuitive and you feel so helpless but i feel like god just wants to remind you that he's the one who's defending your case against the enemy Be blessed
Wow, Jack, that's an amazing word. Uh, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Maria Francis. The Lord shows me how, how you are how you are the bride. You are the bride and I just see how how he how he has put this beautiful veil on you and he has the ring and the Lord shows me that that you must know that that he wants to, to come in, into covenant with you and I hear the Lord saying that he is he is just surrounding you in love and and how and how he is speaking to you and and he wants you to receive his words now his his new words that he is speaking onto you it's almost like like a vow renewal and and I see how you how the Lord is, is speaking to you and how you speak back to the to the Lord and how you are in in full in full reverence and in honor and the Lord saying that I want you to come and, and sit with me. I want you to come and sit at my table and, and dine with me. The Lord just wants to have a deeper connection with you. He loves you so, so, so much. And I see you are in this beautiful white dress and you are just shining so brightly. And yes, He loves you so much. Hey, so Marie, uh, I see a basket of fish and I think you're going to catch a few fish. Because you know, when a fisherman in the old days would catch a fish, they have a basket keep all the fish in the basket and I just see how there is a few fish in your life that you've been very patient with them and loving but I see how the Lord is saying okay now it's time to pull them out of the ocean and they're ready to come into the kingdom of God and so you can ask them and they will they will respond all right so awesome God bless you Marie all right family uh, so um, I'm going to sit now and go through all the names in the comments and see which ones I missed. And then me and Jan will sit tomorrow and we will minister to everyone else. We love and appreciate one, each one of you. And uh, we will be live on Friday, Friday again. Uh, have a wonderful week. Be blessed in everything that you do. See you next time. Please subscribe to our channel and sign up for our newsletter. If you would like to receive personal prophetic ministry, you can join our live stream on Mondays and Fridays. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.